see everybody in here, just sitting here in the tiny house, having my iced coffee with all of you. It's a beautiful, sunny morning, and it's kind of cool, so I'm enjoying that so much right now. I got a notification that there is something waiting for me at the post office, so a little bit, I gotta go into town, pick up a package or whatever it is, and get some ice, and then piddle around the homestead. It's off to the post office and then to the vet to pick up some heartworm medication and then who knows what else. Oh, this is going to be a great day. Looky there, you guys. I got a Prezi. I can't wait to get home and open it. Look it. It's from Sarah H. So you know what time it is? Okay, let's get into this package. Oh, I have to tell you guys something. The new fan that I got a few days ago, that was also from Sarah H. There was no note in the box, so I didn't know, but she let me know she was the one who sent it. So thank you, Sarah. I appreciate it. Oh, this is gonna be hard to get into. It is taped really, really well. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, look it, look it, look it. Okay. It's a box filled with goodies. I'm gonna start with the card. Card, I don't know if it's a card or a letter. It is a letter, it's a letter. Dear Anne, use the clothesline for, for whatever you need to. Thought it may help you, God bless Sarah H. Okay, oh, and Kelsey, Sarah and Kelsey, um, they both went in on the fan. Dear Anne, I hope this fan can help keep you cool. Kelsey and I use one like this in the spring and fall and sometimes winter to pull in fresh air from the outside. It has different settings, so you can set it. I hope it works. It does. It fits perfect. You guys saw that it fits perfect. Also sending you this extension cord, a light, and some canning supplies I thought you could use. We love the music with chickens or or your videos and seeing the different eggs from each chicken. Anyway, love your videos as always. God bless and stay cool with love, Sarah and Kelsey. Thank you so much. All right, let's get into this package. Look at this, Cheetos, and I love Cheetos. Mac and cheese, cheesy jalapeno flavor. Oh yes, I'm gonna love this for sure. Oh, here's the clothesline. I can absolutely use this clothesline, well, for a clothesline, but also for so many other things. This is great. I'm always looking for rope to tie things down or up or hold things up or whatever. Um, some lids. Oh, yes. Ball lids. Leak-proof lids. Perfect for storage and on-the-go. Wide mouth. That is fantastic. I did need some wide mouth lids. I love these kind of lids. They aren't metal. Um, so, like, if you're doing stuff like pickling or fermenting or something like that, these are great. Oh, yes, they are very, very great lids. Thank you so much. Oh, is this a fly trap? Yep, you fill it up with water, hang it up. Um, I had some on my wish list. I'm going to go ahead and take them off now because I think I'm, I'm set for the fly traps. These things work great. I got to tell you, they have diminished the fly population tenfold. Um, inside the van, I hang one. During the day, I take it out during it at night because it just it gets too stinky in there um, and there are hardly any flies inside the van coop and out in the yard it's so much better so thank you very much oh yes I love these things singles to go there's grape oh, strawberry peach one of my favorites sun kiss orange peach mango oh, look at that oh yes and Looks like orange with antioxidants, hydrate, replenish, vitamin C, a thousand milligrams. <laughs> Romeo's literally right next to me under the truck. That's so funny. Oh, this is great. I love that stuff. I use it all the time. <gasps> Look at this cute little purse. Look at it's a tiny purse for Anne's tiny life. I love stuff like this. I would rather use this and then you can just put your money in it and see there's a little zipper pouch right here. Um, and you could just throw it around your arm like this. And then in the front, it's got a little pouchy thing like this. 
and that's perfect. Put your cell phone in here, your money in here, and it's good to go. You don't need a big purse. I love this. I love it. Whenever I go to the thrift stores, I look for stuff just like this. Okay. Ooh, it's getting hot already. Look at this extension cord. Hyper tough 15 foot extension cord. Absolutely can use this. Um, are you kidding me? Yes. That's how I That's how I wire stuff inside the tiny house. Um, I've got a small space so I don't need a bunch of wiring in the walls and stuff. I just use extension cords. And it's 16 gauge for indoor outdoor use, so that is wonderful. All right. There's still so more, much more. <gasps> chapstick because I'm always getting chapped lips this is wonderful and I'm always losing my chapstick it just like disappears but I use it an awful lot look it it is a light uh, um, like a little tripod and light kit for vlogging this is great because I can use it when it's like dark and it's you know inside the tiny house first thing in the morning it's really dark she sent batteries with it Oh, I cannot wait to try that out. That is wonderful. Citric acid, absolutely need this for uh, canning tomatoes. Fresh fruit preserver, oh yeah, that's gonna be awesome too. <laughs> Prevents browning and preserves flavor. Mixed pickling spice, oh yes, this is great. You know what, I need to pickle some stuff today. I think I do. I don't know if I'm gonna film it today. I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see. All right, let's keep moving. Oh, holds up to uh, holds up to ten sweaters or sweatshirts. Look at this, vacuum sealed, and you can just load them up. There is one, two, three, four of these, and I have a little um, handheld vacuum that I think might be compatible with this. What a great idea! Look at these. I can put quilts in them and all that kind of stuff. And it's important because with all this moisture and humidity, uh, things tend to um, mold. <laughs> and that's gross. So that is wonderful. I'm going to have to try and get them back in this bag. Oh, pectin. Yes, sure gel pectin for more canning projects for um, jams and jellies. And oh, look at this. Look. It's a big tote. See this? Man, I could use this as a hamper. Right now I'm just using a buffalo check, the biggest buffalo check one. But look at this. It's got a handle on top and it has a zipper right here. Fill this up. This is wonderful. This is gonna make storing my dirty clothes much easier. Oh, medium salsa tomato seasoning mix. Look, hopefully I'll get enough tomatoes to be able to do this. Oh, and look, another storage bag. Great for storing bedding linens. And look at, look at, it almost looks kind of like a little ottoman thingy. I'm not gonna take it out of this bag right now, but that is a wonderful, wonderful idea. See-through front with breathable fabric sides. That is a great idea. Wood clothespins, yes. I, I had some wood clothespins, but they didn't weather well, and I left them outside, um, so I needed some more. So thank you so much. LED ring light plus phone holder. Look at another one. That is great. <laughs> Remy, it's literally two steps in front of me. Holds phone securely in place, completely adjustable, easy operation. Oh my gosh. I hope it makes me look beautiful like the girl on this. <laughs> oh, looks like we've got one more thing in here. Whoa, look at this Ball's book on preserving. <gasps> oh, yes. Because if you get a recipe from the, the can manufacturer, they're going to know what they're talking about. Um, they're, they're established recipes, so I know you can't go wrong if you follow these recipes. Sweet pickle relish, piccadilly, or green tomato relish. <gasps> I got to make some of that. Oh, that is so great, you guys. Oh. Thank you so much. I gotta, I gotta move into the shade here. I'm gonna put this all back in and take it in the house and find places for it. And then, I don't know, should I pickle something or should I not? Hmm. 
thank you so much, Sarah and Kelsey, not only for the fan, but all of these great, great prezzies. Thank you so much. I had to move to the shade because it was really heating up. So this video is already over 10 minutes, and I don't like super duper long videos. I mean, 10 minutes of Anne's Tiny Life is enough, don't you think? So I'm going to do something today, maybe some pickling. I'll show you whatever I get done tomorrow. Um... Oh, the next day or whenever. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.